We are four minutes away from seeing the new official gameplay trailer from FIFA 21. It's going to premiere in four minutes. I'm going to watch it with you guys. Not expecting too much. It's just going to be, you know, a bunch of cinematics, a few close-ups of player faces like Haaland's, which looks stunning, by the way. Please, please have Arsenal faces. I want to see Nketiah, Nelson, Saka. I want all these guys to have actual faces. Willock, there's a few others. Although, to be fair, with modding, it doesn't matter too much. We've got some talented guys out there that can make faces themselves. But, um, yeah, we've got three minutes to wait now. On their site, nothing new. It's the same stuff as before. But what we are getting is, of course, today the gameplay portion of their reveals and then hopefully we will have career mode I'm, I'm guessing this time next week maybe they're going to be doing it every Tuesday because it's ultimate team after that and then it is Volta after that and actually I can't talk too much about Volta I was part of a, a presentation they did and it does look better this year so I'm actually kind of looking forward to playing it again I don't know um but yeah we'll, we'll get more information on that but today is all about the gameplay. Um, I think they're going to be talking about these key features here that's on the site. If you want to have a look at the site, feel free. It's obviously uh, EA.com. But um, yeah, we're just a few moments away from watching this trailer. I think um, what we're going to see is probably a little bit about the San Siro and the license with Inter and AC Milan. I believe that's quite a big announcement they've made. Um, talking of announcements, though, um, this is a bad one. So, you know, Juventus were not in FIFA 20. We had Piemonte Calcio with a fake badge, fake kits. Unfortunately, Roma faced the same fate. They are now going to be called, I think, AS Roma FC. I think it's, it's not a bad name. It's not like Piemonte Calcio, but we are going to be getting a fake badge and fake kits for the Roma team. I believe Pez have snapped up that license, which is, uh, yeah, that's a real shame. I'm not a big fan of these license battles. You know, the, as the consumer, we just lose because we have a preference of what game we want. We don't really buy a game based off the team licensing. Well, actually, I, I guess a lot of people do prefer FIFA because they've got more licensing. But do you understand what I mean? Just having like a console exclusive, it, it sucks, really. The player loses. Um, and having license exclusives is just horrible. Thankfully, it's not the case with teams like Arsenal, Man United, Liverpool, who have all got deals with Pez. Luckily, FIFA own the Premier League license, so they can still have those clubs. If they didn't have that FIFA license um, of the Premier League, then we would have Man Red and London Red. And, and oh, I can't imagine that. The biggest thing I can say, guys, is PC is the way to go if you want to have Roma Juventus. Because, of course, you can use mods on console. You're not going to have that. Roma and Juventus are both going to be missing from the game once again. I think it's probably a couple of years until the Juventus deal comes to an end with Pez. And then maybe EA will be able to get it back. But we're 60 seconds away from a premiere. Oh, but then it's another two minutes, isn't it? We'll come back when it's ready to go. The new... Gameplay features FIFA of FIFA 21. 21. Will you for your creativity and control both on and off the ball with more intelligent player positioning, better scoring opportunities, and player controlled runs. Ooh, nice. Player controlled runs. Agile dribbling. Last season, dynamic one on ones put you in charge of 1v1 battles. Oh, nutmegs. In FIFA 21, agile dribbling lets you unleash your creativity to go past the defender. Show off some fast footwork Ooh. to leave them lost for words. Oh. Hold down the right shoulder button and use the left stick to get close control over the ball. That does Sinos look really Sterling cool. uses his quick feet to take it around the defender and lays off that perfect through ball. Or do it in style with the new skill moves like the bridge dribble and the ball roll fake to explode past defenders. And in defense, counter the oncoming attacker by using your muscle to stop them in their tracks. Or just be Van Dyke, you know? <laughs> Creative runs, this is what I'm interested in. In past seasons, you rely on the AI to make the right runs off the ball. Oh. Now you've got more control over your attacker's movement in the build-up. Get inventive and control your teammates' runs with directed pass and go and directed runs. Watch how a tap on the left bumper and a flick of the right stick sends Salah into space. Oh my god, that is amazing. Or lock onto one player to take matters into your own hands. Wow. That's really cool. The world's best players are always in the right place at the right time. Now they have that same level of positional awareness in FIFA. 
World-class forwards like Sergio Aguero hold their runs to stay onside. Creative playmakers like Kevin De Bruyne find the spaces to play those incisive Oof, through balls. That first touch. Midfielders like Fabinho shut off passing lanes. And defensive giants like Van Dijk block more effectively when they get in the way of shots and crosses. <laughs> he blocked everything. This is good so far. I like the idea. Players are more realistic to their real-life counterparts. Also smooths out those defense via attack free for alls <laughs> when the ball goes loose in the box with a refreshed collision system. Ooh. A lot of people now hate you'll that. Now see less falling over and more natural outcomes when players fight nice. to be first. Yeah, I hate that. When your players are all just jumping over each other. No, none of that, please. And a focus on the fundamentals includes your feedback to unlock creativity in FIFA 21. Switch on new manual <sighs> headers and send headed shots and passes exactly where you're aiming. Dispatch the ball into space for your teammate to run onto with more effective long through balls. Okay. Master those skills? Competitor mode gives you an idea of what it's like to play against the best FIFA players in the world. Wait, a new difficulty? Giving your opponent better skill moves, dribbling, and all round tactical awareness so you can take it beyond legendary. Okay. But don't worry if you miss your chance. Have another go at striking it just right with new gameplay rewinds in kickoff mode for a second shot at perfection. Oh my god. That's a quick tour Flashbacks. Of some of the biggest features come into gameplay in FIFA 21. With your new attacking system, smarter positioning, better scoring opportunities, and player controlled runs, you'll be rewarded for flexing your creativity and control in FIFA 21. And there's much more to come in career mode and FIFA Ultimate Team. So, that was actually very impressive. I'm I'm surprised. They've actually, they've done a lot there in that just simple announcement video. Um, that was actually very impressive. Can we just get the VOD now? There we go. So now we can actually go through. That was live premiere, so I've literally reacted to that with you guys. So, it seems like they've got a primary focus this year on a bit more control of the game. One thing I really, really dislike about FIFA 20 is, let's try and get an example here. If I turn it down just a tad. So, right, this is a good image to show you. I despise how your players next to you, I'm, I'm talking specifically offline gameplay, I guess, um, but this will affect online as well. But the AI on your team, just don't help you enough. They don't make decisive runs in behind. And when they do, it's very rare, but it feels really good. You know, when, when they make a good run and you pick them out, it just doesn't happen enough. And with these creative runs, it's just going to be... Lays off that perfect through ball. I, I guess it's just going to be a bit easier to, to do what you want to do and not just rely on the AI to make a run for you. You're going to be able to actually physically choose a lane that a player can run into. Um... The new difficulty is what I'm interested in the most at the moment, though. And this stuff. This this was really cool. You know when you've got a run into the box and you start tripping over your own players, then his defenders come running in and they all trip over as well? Like, sure, it's pretty funny at times, but it's so frustrating, especially if you're trying to find a goal to draw level or whatever. So you can see that. On the left, look, they're all on the floor. And then on the right... When the ball goes loose in the box... I like the fact that it's actually not necessarily just the players not falling over, but the ball is is moving away. Sometimes it feels like the ball is glued to a player. No matter what happens, even if they fall over, the ball is right there. So it's easy for someone to grab it and score a tap in or whatever. It seems like maybe that's going to be part of the uh, design of the system is to allow the ball to bounce around a little bit more away from the play. Um, so you get a chance to recover the ball or whatever. System. That's definitely a good thing. Now you'll see Graphics look nice. And more natural outcomes when players yeah, this, this is definitely a big thing for me. I, I mean, especially for Ultimate Team guys as well, because when you're playing online, it seems to happen more. <laughs> more and more each year. Uh, that's an ugly kit. Um, fundamentals of football. Where's the difficulty? Competitor so, competitor mode. Is this replacing ultimate difficulty let me quickly explain what ultimate difficulty is because a lot of people still might not know legendary is the hardest difficulty in fifa ultimate is artificial legendary gameplay where they've just made the players 99 rated so you're playing the exact same difficulty it's just fake difficulty because the players are 99 speed 99 
passing, shooting, strength. So yes, it's harder, but it's completely fake. It's not like they're more intelligent. If you're playing on Legendary, you are playing the hardest version of the game in terms of AI ability. Um, just going up to ultimate means they're going to be quicker than you in every aspect. They're going to be stronger than you. And that, to me, that stinks, especially in career mode, because you're never going to get any progression. If you're playing on ultimate difficulty from League 2 to League 1 to the Championship to the Premier League, you're playing the same team every week, except from their height, you know, and what colour boots they've got on. You want to feel progression. You want to feel like your team's getting better, which is why I don't play on ultimate. But competitor mode, they mentioned in here, let's see if we can get him oh, saying it. an idea of what it's like to play against the best FIFA players in the world. Giving your opponent better skill moves, dribbling and all-round tactical awareness. That is what I wanted from Ultimate. Better tactical awareness. They're using skill moves. Their passing is going to be improved. Does this mean they've dumbed down Legendary though? Because... Legendary is already way too easy. You've seen the sliders I'm using in my career mode and it's still sometimes too easy. Um, the one thing that bothers me the most with the, uh, the AI defending this year is the fact that you can be running at them and they just turn and, and walk away. They, they, just, they just decide, I'm not going to challenge you. You can just run. And I hate that with a passion because it looks like you're playing on professional, even though you're on legendary with really hard sliders. Uh, yeah, that does my head in. So I'm hoping they've adjusted the defending um, AI ability and intelligence as well. But the rewind thing, I'm not... Did he say you can do it in career don't mode? Worry if you miss your chance. Have another go at striking it just right with new gameplay rewinds in kickoff mode for a second shot at perfection. Kickoff. So I don't think that's going to be in career mode, which, thank God, I can't imagine the amount of people that would accuse career mode YouTubers of rewinding if they've missed a chance. At what, what, what will happen is they will score a freak goal and you'll be like, oh, you didn't actually score that properly. You just rewound your shot five times. That would do my head in. So thank God for that. Have another go at striking Interesting though. New gameplay rewinds in kickoff mode for a second shot at perfection. Well, if you've been playing F1 a lot like I have, you'll know that flashbacks are rather handy. <laughs> but in kickoff mode, it, it's obviously not going to affect anyone. It's just completely offline. And I guess if you're playing against your mate, it's disabled. Maybe. Because then you could just rewind constantly and annoy your mate. Um... So we've got the San Siro Stadium here. And there's much more to come in career mode and FIFA Ultimate Team. And there it is, career mode and Ultimate Team coming soon. Gen genuinely, guys, I am really quite happy with what they've said in this announcement. So this is really interesting as well. So you tap L1. You tap L1 and then you move the right stick in the dire direction that you want your run to be made. So, so here... You're controlling the player with the ball, which I think is Firmino. Yes, it is. And you can see these little directional arrow, arrows, which is really cool, by the way. But maybe you can hide those. I don't know. And you're then controlling where I think it's Mo Salah, where he is going to make his run. Normally, with the AI as it is, he might literally just stand there. <laughs> but now you can actually say, no, I want you to make a run in behind. And... Look at that. It just cuts through. I wonder how hard that's going to be. I'm sure at first it'll be a little bit tricky, but we'll get used to it. Now, this is really interesting. So I noticed he completely switched off the player with the ball. Does that mean you are now allowing the AI to control the player with the ball while you make a run manually? Let's have a look at this. Or lock onto one player to take... Lock onto a player? So look, he's controlling Hazard there. Matters into your own hands. And then Casemiro just chips it to him. I mean, that's that's pretty amazing. I really like that. I think especially in offline gameplay, that's going to be really fun to mess around with. Give it to a, a really good player that can, you know, pass the ball over the top or cut through the lines or whatever. Just make your run and rely on that player being genuinely good in the game. You know, if you pick out a player that maybe isn't great at passing, his pass might not get to you. Whereas if you pick out a Tony Cruz or whoever, he can chip it over, cut through the defenders and find you. That's... That's, a, that's more, more things you've got to think about when playing the game. Positional awareness is good, though, but it seems to be more focused on attacking and your strikers coming back from an offside position. I want to see defenders that I'm up against making more intelligent plays to try and tackle or intercept or just move into a better position to stop me from scoring. What a goal that was, by the way. Honestly, guys, this, this is... 
to throw all of this in a three minute 30 video just goes to show they have actually done quite a lot this year when it comes to uh, improving things that we need, we want. Oh, and the nutmegs as well. Look at this. Whoop. See you later. Whoop. See you later. Oh, Bernardo Silva's disgusting, isn't he? And there's some Volta. So it says it at the top. Agile dribbling, creative runs, positioning awareness, natural collision system, which was, you know, players not falling over so much. And then the fundamentals of football. Genuinely... Round of applause to EA. That was that was impressive. I'm very, very excited for the career mode release next week. So make sure you subscribe for that one. I'll be doing the exact same thing again. And I'm hoping they reveal everything so then I can finally talk about what I know. Um, but yeah, I, th I think honestly, we're, we're going into this FIFA maybe with the biggest and best kind of feature reveal, if that makes sense. It feels like this year is maybe slightly different and we are actually going to be getting something good this year to really help freshen up the series. Um, I'm I'm happy. I really am. Thank you guys so much for watching. Just a little breakdown of what they've shown. And uh, same time next week, hopefully, we'll be back here with a career mode one. And um, yeah, see you on the stream tonight. We'll be, we'll be streaming the... Um, uh, the championship playoff final between Brentford and Fulham. So if you're interested in watching that, please do click the link down below. Come over to my Twitch and uh, yeah, I'll see you then.